Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Minsan nakikita natin ang figure na ito at we are asked to determine what is the distance between P and Q. Ang video ito ang sasagot sa katanungan yan. With this video, we'll be working with the distance between two points, applying the distance formula. Let's start working with this. The distance between any points on a plane can be determined from the coordinates of the points, like this one. If we have the point, and that's point P and point Q, and we connect the dot, if we are asked to determine the distance between PQ, is it the same way as when we get the distance between QP? Again, if we are asked to determine the distance between PQ, is it the same as getting the distance between QP? Obviously, the answer is yes, because PQ is also equal to QP when we talk of the distance. Let us consider that we are going to find the distance between P, which is negative 4, 3, and Q, which is 2, 3, like the figure illustrated. So P is negative 4, negative 3, and Q is 2, 3. So to determine the answer, so we will notice first that that two points of P and Q aligned horizontally. If that's the case, maybe, to determine the distance of that point, we are going to get the absolute value of the difference of their x-coordinate. So, ibig sabihin, kapag horizontal, magko-concentrate na lang tayo sa x-coordinate. Ang x-coordinate ng P ay negative 4. Ang x-coordinate ng Q ay 2. Heto yon. Negative 4 minus 2 then we just perform the operation. And that becomes negative 6 or the absolute value of negative 6. At kapag kinuha ang absolute value ng negative 6, kasi pag sinabing absolute value, distance from 0, hence, the answer is 6. So the distance between PQ is 6. Pinakamadali, bilangin lang. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's the answer. Siyempre, magaan siya, especially kapag siya ay horizontal ang line. How about this one? Okay, consider these two points, point R and point S. So, let us consider that we are going to find the distance between that R which is 3, 5 and S which is 3, negative 2. But remember, that the figure is aligned or the line is aligned vertically. Hence, if that's the case, maybe the distance between that two points is the absolute value of the difference of their y-coordinate. So, ibig sabihin kapag naman pinag-uusapan ng vertical line, so ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay ang kanyang value ng y. So, ito yon pi at negative 2. Kaya, absolute value of 5 minus negative 2. So, then after that, perform the operation 5 minus negative 2, that becomes 7. And the distance of 7 from 0 is 7. Therefore, the absolute value of 7 is 7. So, pag binilang natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, yun ngayon ang distance from R to S. But, hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay horizontal at vertical para madaling mabilang o para ang gamitin natin ay absolute value. Like this figure. Okay, if that's the case, maybe, let us consider that that's point A and that's 
point B and we wanted to determine the distance of that, we will be using the distance formula. At ito yung formula natin. The distance is equal to the square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to 2 plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to 2. So, to determine the formula of that, uh, I mean, the distance of that, yan yung gagamitin natin. Pero pwede rin yan sa horizontal at vertical. Pero mas magaan lang kung ang ginamit doon ay absolute value na lang ng x-coordinate at absolute value ng y-coordinate. Pero dito, kapag diagonal na, ito na talaga yung gagamitin nating formula. So, consider that we're about to find the distance between a, which is negative 3, comma negative 2, and b, which is 1, comma 4. So, ang first thing na ginagawa kapag ginagamit ang distance formula ay alamin ang mga value ng x sub 2, value ng x sub 1, value ng y sub 2, value ng y sub 1. So, ilagay na natin yung given. Ang a natin ay negative 3, comma negative 2. Ang b natin ay 1, comma 4. Then, ang a, x sub 1 natin ay negative 3. So, kasi ito yung unang x natin. So, ang x sub 2 naman natin ay yung pangalawang value ng x. Same way, ang y naman sub 1 ay negative 2 at ang y sub 2 ay 4. Pero paalala, pwede yung mabaliktad. Kung ito ang gagamitin mong x sub 1, tiyakin mo lang na ito yung y sub 1. Hence, ito naman yung x sub 2, ito yung y sub 2. Kahit mabaliktad yan, walang magiging problema when you apply the distance formula. Pero for a while, ito yung ginamit natin. So, dyan natin isa substitute gamit ang distance formula. The distance between a, b is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to the second plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 to the second. Let us see by substitution. So, ang x sub 2 natin, sabi natin ay 1. So, pinalit natin. Minus, we have that. x sub 1 natin ay negative 3 minus negative 3. y sub 2 natin ay 4. We substitute it. Minus. Then, y sub 1 ay negative 2. So, we just substitute it to the formula. Then, we are going to perform the operation here inside this bracket. Inside this bracket. And the result is this. 1 minus negative 3 is 4. And 4 minus negative 2 is 6. Then, we squared it. And that's 16 plus 36. 4 to the second is 16. 6 to the second is 36. Then, we add this. And the answer is square root of 52. Pero ang square root of 52 can be simplified by getting the factor. Simplifying radical yung i-apply. Pag nagsisimplify ng radical number, iisip tayo ng factor nitong number na to or ng 52, tiyakin lang ng ang isang factor ay perfect squared like this. 4 times, neg uh, 4 times 13 is 52 at ang 4 ay perfect squared. So, kaya yung perfect squared ilalabas sa loob ng radical Kasi may square root, pero mananatili sa loob ang 13 kasi hindi siya perfect squared. Kaya, square root ng 4 ay 2, then walang square root ng 13 na perfect, ha? Kasi may decimal yan kapag kinuha natin. So, we have that. Therefore, the distance between A, B is the 2 times the square root of 13. Let's proceed with the other. Let us consider that we are going to find the distance between C, which is negative 5, comma 5, and D, which is negative 1, comma negative 5. So, let's plot the point. Ito yung negative 5, comma 5. Then, the other one, I, negative 1, comma 5. So, negative 1, comma 5. Okay, that's correct with this. So, connecting the point. So, we have that. So, alamin natin ang distance yan. Siyempre, gamit ang distance formula. So, ang x sub 1 natin. So, x sub 1 ay negative 5. Ito yun. Baka mali ito ah. Kasi may negative 5 tayo. Dito tayo. So, ang x sub 2 natin. Ito yun. Okay. Next is y sub 1. Ito. And the other way around, y sub 2. Ito. Then, we are going to substitute that with the formula. 
So, we are going to look for this one. The distance between CD is negative 1. So, x sub 2, ito na lang, minus negative 5 ang x sub 1, plus, then y sub 2, ito yun, negative 5, minus, so 5 ang y sub 1. Then, perform the operation here, tsaka dito. So, negative 1 minus negative 5, change the sign of the subtrend, kaya naging positive for to. Ito naman ay negative 10. So, pag in-squared natin yan, that's 16. 4 to the second is 16. Negative 10 to the second is 100. And that's 116 or the square root of 116. And wala na siyang factor na perfect squared. Therefore, the distance between CD is the square root of 116. Okay? So, pwede nyo rin naman kunin ang approximate value niyan pag kinuha yung square root of 116. Para uh, mag-concentrate na tayo na radical yung sagot kapag hindi perfect square. Let's have another one. Okay, consider that we are going to find the distance between E which is negative 3, 2 and F which is 1, negative 2. Let's plot the point. So, ito yung negative 3, 2. So, that's E. That's the coordinate. The other way around, this is F, which is 1, comma, negative 2. That's point F, 1, comma, negative 2. Connect the point. So, alamin na natin si X sub 1. Si X sub 1 ay negative 3. Siyempre, ang X sub 2 naman natin ito. So, ito naman ang Y sub 1. Ito naman ang Y sub 2. Paalala, napanggit ko na kanina, pero gusto ko lang i-remind. Pwedeng baligtad. Pwedeng ito ang X sub 1. Ito yung x sub 2. Ito yung y sub 1. Ito yung y sub 2. Okay, this time, gamit ang formula, isa substitute na natin ang x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, at y sub 2. So, we have this. So, ang x sub 2 natin ay 1. So, pinalitan natin minus x sub 1 ay negative 3. We have this one plus quantity y sub 2 ay negative 2. We have this minus 2. Then, perform the operation. So, itong 1 minus negative 3 ay 4. The negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Then, we are going to square 4 and we are going to square negative 4. And that becomes 16 plus 16. And we add 16 and 16. That's the square root of 32. And the square root of 32 ay pwedeng isimplify. So, that 16 times 2 yung factor kasi ang 16 ay perfect squared. Hence, square root ng 16 ay 4 kaya pupunta na sa labas ng radical symbol at mananatili sa loob ang 2. Okay, therefore, the distance between E to F is 4 times the square root of 2. So, that's all kamato class with the distance formula. God bless us!